Hi, everybody. Uh, I thought I'd take a minute here to uh, explain a bit. I get a lot of questions about uh, crankshafts, connecting rods, pistons, barrels. Uh, so I thought I'd try to make a short video to explain a little bit of it. Uh, and of course, this is a Lambretta casing. Uh, this is a Li. It's an Italian Li 125 casing. Uh, so I'd like to show a bit about it. Uh, basically, our options uh, for connecting rod. Anyway, uh, where am I going to go? Here it is. You're basically, all all standard Lambrettas, uh, Series Two and uh, Series Three, with the exception of the TV 175, has a 107 rod, which is 107 millimeters from uh, the center of the small end to the center of the big end. So they all have a 107 rod, which I'm going to call uh, a short rod because it's shorter than the 116. Uh, you can bear with me while I figure that part out. So that's a 116. Uh, so if you, if I line them up here, you can see that they're actually uh, the front one, the 116, is considerably longer, uh, no, noticeably anyway. So that's so that's 107 and 116 is what standard Lambrettas came. Uh, now here I also have a Yamaha 115 rod. Now that, if I line up with the 116, is practically the same you can you really can't see visibly maybe a little one little bit there uh, basically the reason we use the 115 uh, is basically just improved uh, it's an improved rod for higher horsepower uh, through these oil slots there's better oil slots than our standard little two there uh, that oil slot is better the whole rod itself is just beefed up this the beams are thicker uh, so this rod is basically just designed, I mean, it's, it's an RD400 rod, so it's designed for, I don't know, something, I don't know, 60 horsepower at least, something. Uh, you know, a Lambretta is designed for like 12. So this rod, you know, becomes a weak point. So so the, out of the three rods, we have the 107, and basically the 115 is what I'm going to talk about. Uh, although a 116 is another possibility. Now, the cranks I have, I have some cranks to show you. Uh, this is an old AF rod uh, crank, and this is a short crank. So it's got the uh, is it's got the shorter rod on it. And the then I also have a GB converted uh, 115 rod. So that's got the Yamaha 115 rod in it. Uh, then let's see. Then I also have which I won't be using much, but I do have uh, a a 116 rod which is, uh, you know, you can't really see just by looking at it, but that is a 116 rod on that and an old black MEC crank. Uh, so basically, uh, the, the rules of matching pistons and everything, uh, well, let me show you actually this too. This is a standard Lambretta, this is a beat up 175 piston. Uh, the, what we call the crown height is from the center of the pin here to this point here where, where it starts to curve not the top of the dome here uh, it's actually here so that's 30 time, 39 millimeters to center uh, the this is a Suzuki TS-185 piston this is a Weissco so this is actually I, I believe it's 32 but this is a 32 millimeter crown height so it's it's a short it's what I'm gonna call a short piston so we have a short rod and long rod short piston and then tall piston high piston whatever uh, all Lambrettas, with the exception of the TV 175, have a tall, have a long piston. Uh, so that's your SX, your LIs, all those. Uh, so basically, uh, you have different size uh, barrels, you have different size rods, and you have different size pistons. Now, this is uh, actually this is a series one. I was going to show you that later, but basically, you have you now have two barrels. This is a standard uh, Series 3 barrel, and this is a short, this is actually a Series 1. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but if I do that, you can see the, the barrels are different heights. So the Series 1 is actually a short barrel, uh, and then I'm going to call these basically a long barrel. Uh, your standard Series 3 is a long barrel. Now the other option you have is you can actually shorten the barrel itself. Now these are two, they, these are both, both Series 3 barrels. 
but again you can see the the one here is shorter by about I believe is about seven millimeters uh, so now you can clearly see I've done this on my lathe you can see this this one here is stock this one has been messed with you can see that's it, been machined likewise in the back uh, you can see that this let's see this one here is stock that one's been been messed with that's been machined uh, some people do the machining slightly different than this. This is actually one of the first ones I did. Uh, it's actually not even fit to be used. It needs another. It needs a reboard before it can even be used. Uh, so basically, if you have a a long barrel, then uh, with a long barrel, you either need you need one short and one long, if that makes sense. So if you have a long barrel and you have a short rod, a standard LI150 rod, for example. Uh, if you have a short rod, then you need a long piston to match it. That's the combination that makes it work uh, with a long barrel. So now if you would take, this is a 107 rod, this is a short rod. Uh, throw it in there. Now this is a short rod. So if I put a short piston on a short rod, this is just some, some junk parts I have laying around here. Uh, So if you take a short piston with a short rod and you put a long barrel on it, when you come to top dead center, if you can see that, uh, I don't know how exaggerated that is here, but I have about seven millimeters right here on the wall. So at top dead center, you'd never get, you, you, you want to be at the top. Uh, and of course, if you're that, if you're seven millimeters down, you never make compression; it won't run. Uh, so, uh, m never mind the timings or anything else. So, the the short piston with a short rod will not work with a long barrel. Now, the option is, and this is an option I see uh, a number of times. Uh, this is actually, if we use the machine barrel that's shorter. I've shortened it by seven millimeters. Now, when we go to top dead center, uh, you're right at the top. You actually, this one has about about a half millimeter of play here at the top. That's enough of a lip. Now, the other the other option is this is a actually a series one barrel that I have bored out to 186. Now, if I do that, uh, again, now I'm not sure you'll be able to see this, uh, so I'll, I'll make the mark. This actually, I'm running into the piston. The piston itself sits about about a half millimeter to a millimeter above at top dead center. Now, that's with a standard half millimeter base gasket at the back. Now, you can also use this, which is a, a one millimeter thick. If I would put that in the back, then that would actually space this up, and then it would actually, this would work. Uh, in fact, this I rode this barrel the first year I was machining uh, with a series one. So uh, this barrel actually will work, but you need you need the extra thick uh, gasket. Uh, MB Developments in England is the only company that I see that actually makes these. No one else seems to have them. Uh, so you have to go there to get them. Uh, I normally carry them here in Pennsylvania. So if you need them in the US, uh, if you're in the US watching this, uh, I will normally have these, but not always. Uh, the goal is to always have them though. So basically, if you have a short piston and a short rod, you need a short barrel. Uh, now the other option, and this is actually one of my personal favorites currently, the problem with shortening the barrel, uh, the, the problem with shortening the barrel is you machine it, it uh, you know, you kind of mess with the well you, well. you mess with the port timings where everything goes when you machine it. Uh, I have a method for machining it uh, correctly, but basically your other option is if you want to use a long rod and, and ignore the machining, you can use a 115 rod and crank or a 116, which means uh, if you have a TV 175 crank or if you decide to buy a TV-175 crank, you can also fix this. So what I've done now, and this actually is, 
this is shortened on the bottom. And I'll show you this too quick. This is actually the same piston, but it's a cheap version. It's got the cast cutouts in it. Uh, this is a Weisco Forge piston. This is pretty much top of the line. Uh, so now if you would assemble these this way, you'll see the tops are the same. But you'll notice the bottoms are not. That is because this one is stock. That's, that's the original length. Uh, this one I've actually shortened. Uh, this actually has uh, eight millimeters taken off the bottom. So, so if I so I can't actually use the, a short, I can't actually use a short uh, piston. So what I will use, I will use. Um, it's a short piston still in this sense, but it's the longer skirt. So if I put that together. Now, now I have basically a long rod, but a short piston, which is a good enough combination to make work. So now I go, and actually this is just a little too too much for me personally. I would probably use uh, the thicker base gasket on this. But basically, this is a 115 rod with a Tia, with a Suzuki piston, and it works with a long barrel with no machining necessary. Now. If I use, because this is already basically right at the top, uh, if you use a 116, an actual TV crank, with the with the longer rod, you will actually get, uh, you will actually again be a little above this, and you'll need uh, one of these, maybe even two, even either two millimeter thick gasket or perhaps just two one millimeters, whatever you know works for you there, uh, whatever you can get your hands on. But basically, that's the in order to make that height work. That's that's the the relation between them. Uh, now I will also show you real quick. This uh, this is actually a Kawasaki H1 piston. And so you'll see. Oh, I got my pen. I got junk all over the place here. Uh, so if you if you look there, the H1 piston is actually almost the same as the T the TS185 piston. Uh, this is not, uh, I'm not a particular fan of this uh, particular piston, but this is a, this is what you would use for 165. 125 can't be bored out to 190, 186. So you have to use, so if you're going to use a 125 barrel, uh, I would probably just scrap the 125 barrel for now. Uh, but I'd like to use, uh, my goal is to use this piston and make, you know, uh, full porting for 165 to be able to use all these old 125 barrels that we have sitting around. Uh, now this is also, I'll show you while I got it here, this is a 125 barrel uh, that's been bored out to 165 and you can see I actually uh, I, I actually was able to save because I take a little bit more off the back and in fact I, rem I lost the whole fin on this so it's still machined, you can still see I've, I've, I've machined this uh, you can actually see it because it's a little rough looking here uh, so I have machined here and then, and then actually, I have a machine here, but it was such, it was so little. I was actually there's a less of a lip here, but it, it still is actually shortened. So if I bolt all this together, I'm getting long in the video, uh, so I won't. But if if I would bolt this together, this is a short barrel with a short piston, and that can be used with a short. Uh, that can be used with a short uh, crank. Now, just to show you, if you had. If you tried to put a uh, short barrel on a, uh, if you use a short barrel with a short piston but a long rod at top dead center, I'm not sure how much how much you can see there, but I've got I've got a lot sticking out here. So so it's all about getting that relation correct. Now now it's been become very. Uh, fashionable recently to this is a 58 millimeter stroke meaning from the top to the bottom rotating to the bottom is 58 millimeters this will move up it become fashionable to use 60 millimeters which basically one millimeter the pin is one millimeter higher so it'll actually go from the total from here all the way down is actually 60 mil stroke and people are doing 62 64 uh, people are doing real long cranks now that also it's all about, you know, because it's all about getting this height correctly, 
Uh, so I top that center, it sits just at, you know, the goal is to get it just at the top with just a little bit left over there. Uh, it's all about getting that height relationship correct. Uh, so that's a, that's a bit of it. So basically if you have a regular size barrel and you want to use, because this is a, a great piston, if you want to use the Wisco piston on a standard barrel, your choices are to either swap the crank out to give you the extra or uh, shorten the barrel, then you end up with a short barrel machine version with this piston in a standard LI crank. Uh, so hopefully that made some sense uh, to somebody, maybe answer some questions. Uh, but yeah, it's basically all about getting this height off the base gasket correct. Uh, and those are, and these of course are your standard. Uh, it's 39 and 32, I believe that's what it is. Uh, so that's the, the discrepancy. The TV-175 would look very close to this because it's it it's would actually have a 32 uh, millimeter deck of uh, crown height. So uh, hopefully that answers some questions and uh, I guess we'll see you guys around.